Keir Starmer, Britain's next Prime Minister, is set to focus on long-term growth. His first few months will involve tough decisions. What are the challenges ahead of Starmer? Let's have a look. First, we'll look into foreign affairs. Starmer says he will work with whoever is the US president, emphasizing the importance of the relationship above individuals. He will attend a NATO summit in the US from July 9th to 11th. Starmer rules out rejoining the EU single market or customs union, but aims to reduce some trade barriers to help smaller companies. Labour plans to seek agreements to ease border checks on animal products and mutually recognise professional qualifications. Britain plans to provide £3 billion of military aid to Ukraine this year, with continued support expected. Labour pledges steadfast military, financial, diplomatic and political support for Ukraine. Starmer wants to recognize a Palestinian state at the right time in the peace process. Labour commits to a two-state solution with a safe and secure Israel alongside a viable and sovereign Palestinian state. Britain recently summoned China's ambassador over cyber attacks and espionage concerns. Labour promises a strategic approach to managing relations with China. Now let's look at how he will deal with other miscellaneous problems. The new government will finalise a £500 million support package for Tata Steel to build a lower carbon electric arc furnace. Up to 2,800 jobs are at risk at Port Talbot in South Wales. Unions hope the government will seek a better deal to prevent job losses. Sewage pollution by privatised water companies is a major issue. On July 11, the regulator will decide on allowing companies to raise bills by double digits. Companies say funds are needed for infrastructure, while critics argue they have prioritised dividends over investments. Junior doctors in England have held strikes for 18 months, seeking a 35% pay rise after being offered 10%. Strikes have strained the health service, with non-urgent treatment wait lists doubling to 8 million in four years. Labour promises to negotiate an end to the strikes. Royal Mail is set to be acquired by Czech billionaire Daniel Kretinsky in a £3.57 billion deal. The government can scrutinise and block acquisitions under national security concerns. Labour will ensure Kretinsky's five-year assurances are adhered to and may review the deal. Chinese-founded fast fashion retailer Sheen may list in London later this year. Labour supports the deal but concerns over Sheen's labour practices, supply chain and import tax exemptions could pose problems. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe to our channel, The Indian Express.